Point of order. Have you ever been in a meeting where a board member yells out point of order? Have you ever wondered, are they using it correctly? How do you use a point of order? Well, the point of this video is to support you and your board members in understanding how to use a point of order properly and what to avoid when it comes to making a point of order in your next meeting. So first of all, let's look at what is a point of order? Well, the purpose of point of order is to call attention to some possible fault in parliamentary or other procedure that would violate some rule of your organization. So let's give an example of when you might use a point of order. Let's say that there's a previous question on the floor and the chair just voted on the previous question. And the chair announces that the previous question passes majority vote. This might be a red flag because according to Robert's Rules of Order, a previous question requires a two-thirds vote to pass. So this would be an opportunity for you as a board member to point out this possible fault in parliamentary procedure. Now how do you do that? If you think a fault has occurred, you want to get the chair's attention. So you will say, point of order, Madam Chairman. So you do not need to be recognized by the chair, you just simply stand up be recognized and say, point of order. Now at that point, the chair will look at you and ask you to please state your point. State your point? So in layman's terms, the chair is saying, what do you think I did incorrectly? And you then share with the chair what you believe the procedural fault was. You just stated that the previous question passed majority vote. I believe a previous question needs a two-thirds vote to pass, so therefore, the previous question failed. Now at this time, this, the chair can simply state that I agree with your point and move on with the meeting in the direction that the point was made, or the chair could disagree with your point and say your point is not well taken. But obviously, in this scenario, your point is well taken. Point of order, Madam Chairman. State your point. You just stated that the previous question passed majority vote. I believe a previous question needs a two-thirds vote to pass, so therefore, the previous question failed. Your point is well taken. The previous question requires a two-thirds vote to pass, so therefore, the previous question failed due to a lack of a two-thirds vote. Therefore, we will reopen discussion on the motion which was on the floor prior to the previous question. So you as a member support the board chair in making sure that process and procedure is followed. You should only use point of order in order to point out a possible fault in procedure or process. Unfortunately, you may see board members using point of order incorrectly. You might see them using it as a weapon. You might be seeing people use point of order to interrupt the meeting because they don't like something that's been done, because they want the floor, or even just because they don't like the chair. Remember, these are all incorrect uses for this tool. And if you see a board member using point of order incorrectly, it may indicate that your board has a training opportunity and that your board members do not understand the basics of Robert's Rules of Order. Making sure that your board members all understand the fundamentals of Robert's Rules of Order will save your board time energy, and life. I hope this video was helpful. My name is Susan Leahy and I'm from Robert's Rules Made Simple. Please subscribe and for all your board development and Robert's Rules training needs, visit robertsrulesmadesimple.com. Happy meetings!